Hi, my name is John. I work at Summit Engineering and Design here in Ferndale, Washington. In this video, we'll be showing how laser scanning can be applied to the marine industry. What I'll be doing is taking a point cloud model and generating whole curves from that point cloud and then finally a surface model. So let's begin by taking a look at a screenshot here of our project. On the left, we have the point cloud model. In the center are the whole curves generated from the point cloud. And then on the far right, the final surface model. I'll rotate the model here so we can take a better look at the sides of the ship. The software we're using at the moment to view everything is Rhino 3D. And that's a platform that's commonly used by ship designers. So now I'm going to switch over to the laser scan data. Each color you see here is a different laser scan. We actually have a total of 115 individual scans here that have been registered together. This gives us our point cloud. Now this here is our own software that we've developed here at Summit Engineering. Um, we've worked with laser scanning for numerous years. There's a lot of benefits to it, like being able to measure items inside the point cloud, but we also found a lot of different challenges and obstacles that we needed to overcome. In order to do that, we had to create our own tools, stuff that would allow us to work efficiently in the point cloud data. Imagine, if you will, trying to work with the hull when you have other objects there in the laser scan data things that could interfere, such as the blocks that support the hull, ladders, equipment, even the dry dock itself, items that could easily get in the way of what you're trying to do. One of those tools is point cloud isolation. And basically that's putting different items of the ship into various groups so that we can separate them from one another. So when we go in and we begin to create and generate these hull curves, we don't have to worry about other data that might interfere. This allows us to create mathematically valid hull curves that follow the contour of the ship. In addition to isolating all the different parts of the ship, including the dry dock, we've also taken the hull and divided it into the starboard and the port side. Now that's the green and this pink magenta type color that you see here. The reason for separating them from one another is because we don't want to assume that they are symmetrical. So the whole curves that we create will be independent starboard side and a new set that's created specifically for the port side of the ship. So now I'll switch back over to Rhino 3D and we'll take a look at just the whole curves here. And I also have some curves turned on for the keel. Now these are a mathematical fit to the laser scan data. Again, they are not symmetrical. Let's turn the laser scan data back on and see how these fit together. As I rotate around here, we can see how well they fit. I mean, it's just amazing that these curves are following the scan data so well. And the same thing can be said about the surface model. As I rotate around and we look at both sides, we can see that there's scan data on both sides of the surface. And that's how you know that you have a good surface model. The primary purpose of this project was to model the hull, to create mathematically valid hull curves and surfaces. However, for visual completeness, we modeled other portions of the ship here as well. So I'll turn the scan data back on and we can see the two together now. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. You can also find us on the web at seed.com. Thank you for watching.